Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to the seal Lord has given us together. Today I will be meditating upon. If we are in Christ, we can't be judgmental. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 through 2. Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you have just read. Not a long ago, one of the celebrities quoted these verses to back up her opinion that people should be tolerant of all kinds of aberrant behavior. Often, when Christians take a stand against sin, others throw these verses back in their faces. Your own Bible says that you're not supposed to judge. They say with a sneer. Today's verses is do not negate the need for critical thinking or making discerning judgments. Other places in the New Testament tells us to expose false teaching, admonish others when they need it, and even exercise church discipline in cases of sinful behavior. Clearly, we must not make some judgments. The point is that we are not to have an attitude that is constantly condemning and critical. For that is not an attitude of love. We are not to attempt to take God's place as a judge. It may seem like a fine line, but believers can take a stand against sin without being judgmental towards the sinners. God created them and he loves them. Christ has set us to free him with joy. Therefore, we can be discerning about sin without having a critical spirit. This message also is a promise for our day today. The promise is, you can take a stand against sin without being judgmental. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, you say that we are not to take your place in judging others, for that judgment will be turned back on us. I pray for a discerning spirit, one that is able to see sin for what it is and deal with it honestly and lovingly while not being critical and judgmental. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, I'll talk to you tomorrow.